Here we are at CES 2011 in Las Vegas, and I'm joined by George Mee from LG Electronics to talk about Cinema 3D. George. So CES 2011, we are launching our Cinema 3D range of, of televisions, which has previously been known as the, the passive system. We've done lots of research in 2010 within 3D TV. We've heard lots of people talking about it. And the research shows that the, the consumers prefer the passive system over the active shutter system. But what we're trying to do is make that, you know, bring to bring that cinema 3D experience home. The same polarized glasses from most cinemas can now be taken into the home with an LG Cinema 3D TV. So it's renamed to LG Cinema 3D TV to really bring that experience of the cinema into your home. It's more comfort, more people and more fun and it will become the main focus for LG in 2011. But LG will still continue to provide both active and passive style um, 3D TVs, yeah? C absolutely, yes. I mean, currently, LG are the only manufacturer to offer the two types, so Cinema 3D and the active shutter format. We still see as a, a role for both. However, the key focus will be on the, um, the Cinema 3D screens. So we'll have three series of Cinema 3D screens from 32 inches right up to 55 inches. Um, everyone's told us how much they love um, the passive screen. Um, so that's why that will become the main focus. Will they be THX certified? Um, we'll have selected TVs in the range that will be THX certified. Um, the, the top of the range active shutter model will be THX 3D certified and selected plasmas. So all of the, the plasmas will offer the active shutter format and selected models within there will also be THX certified for 2D and 3D. Am I right in thinking that some, uh, at least one of the LCD screens will be the first to use LED backlighting for um, passive 3D? So the Cinema 3D is a first for us on terms of using the LED backlight. So we had the LD950 in 2010, and 80% um, of the people that viewed that television in the Sky pubs said that they preferred that, that, that 3D experience over in 2D. However, that was using an LC, LCD, and now we have the LED backlight. It's the world's first Cinema 3D range with the LED backlights. And how many glasses will you be including with each uh, new TV? So the plan is that we will, every single um, 3D TV will have at least one pair of uh, 3D glasses. The Cinema 3D, the plan is that we'll offer four pairs of uh, the Cinema 3D glasses in there. And the great thing is that you can then take them to the cinema and they're obviously very low cost, maybe one pound, two pounds, but we're also looking at some designer options as well. Something for the kids, something for the mum and dad, something for everyone. And Cinema 3D gives you that great benefit of a great shared viewing experience. It's great for getting your mates over, great for getting the family together to deliver that 3D experience. The glasses don't need to be charged, there's no syncing with the television. It's much more of a comfortable 3D experience that we believe is, is the, is, will become the most popular choice for 3D. George, um, I'm right in thinking that with the passive system you're not actually going to be full HD, is that correct? So the Cinema 3D is, is the side-by-side, -side, but it's perfectly matched for the Sky 3D, um, the Sky 3D technology. So it's perfectly suited for that. In terms of full HD 3D, it doesn't do it because it is that that side by side half resolution. However, we're doing lots of testing, and and what we're seeing so far is that people can only physically see a certain amount of picture information. And what they're saying is that you put the active shutter full HD 1080p next to the Cinema 3D, and people can't perceive any picture quality loss on the side by side system. So although it doesn't deliver the full HD 3D experience, actually the people can only perceive a certain amount of information, and being perfectly aligned to the Sky 3D system. The Sky 3D is perfect for the Cinema 3D range from LG. Uh, when I reviewed the LD950 uh, late last year, uh, I discovered that uh, sometimes it had trouble actually locking on to 3D Blu-rays. I hope that bug's been fixed in the new line of displays. I'm, I'm not aware of that as a, as a problem, but um, obviously we'll, we'll, look in, we'll look into that. But the, the Cinema 3D TV range to us perfectly matches the Sky 3D system in terms of the, how that is broadcast. And we believe that Cinema 3D will become the most popular choice for 3D TVs in 2011. George, thank you very much.